What is the physical meaning? More precise physical meaning. The meaning that we can feel. Then we have to change somehow the expression so that we can feel. Omega is not the expression that we can feel, right? So try to change it. So omega equal to 2 pi f, the f is the frequency cycle per second hertz that we can feel. One kilohertz, we can feel it. One hertz, we can feel it. Two pi radian per second. Uh -huh. Not easy, okay? And then C. Still, it's not easy to feel. So I say this is 2 pi. F is 1 over T. T is the period. What is then C multiplied by period? That's certainly the distance the wave can travel within one period. And then later, you will find this is wavelengths. Wavelengths. Why this can be the wavelengths? Because the definition of wavelengths is the distance that one wave can travel within period. But that's not enough. Let's demonstrate this. Let's figure out what lambda really means by imagining that I have series of mass that is connected by massless string. And suppose I am lifting up this. Okay. I need several line Okay, suppose I'm trying to lifting this one with a velocity of 1, okay? Then it's still over here. And then within some second, it will move up over here. Okay? And then this one will start to move up at this moment. And if I push up continuously, this amount, this one will move up. And this one will start to move. Right? And then I at this point, I start to move down this one. Then, due to inertia, this will go up. And this will move up over here. OK? And then I move down this one over here. Then this one will start to move down over here, and this one will move up, and this one will move go up, and this one is over here. Right? So this is half a wavelength. Uh, this is this is this is certain shape, right? And how long does it take? This is a half a period. Because I move up and down, that's a half period. This is a one period. So this is a half period. During half period, the wave travels this distance, and that is the half of wavelengths. Right? So, this is the wavelength. So when I oscillate rapidly, the wavelength is short and moving this way. When I 
oxalate slowly, then larger wave will go. So that essentially tells us that the wavelengths and the frequency is related with related by this formula. In other words, the spatial variation is no longer independent. The spatial variation is related with the time variation, as I demonstrate over here. Right? Oxalate here rapidly, then small wave, and oxalate here large, then large wave go. This is what generally we call dispersion relation. Okay. In this case, very simple dispersion relation, but some wave has a nonlinear dispersion relation. But in air, simple case, we have dispersion relation like this. Now, if the C, for example, the speed of propagation is 343 meters per second, the speed of sound in air usually, and I'm asking you, what if I blow the frequency 1 kilohertz, and what would be the wavelengths? 346, 43 divided by 1,000, meaning that F has to be, I mean, I mean, meaning that lambda has to be 0.343 meter. That is about 34 centimeter. That means when I blow whistle with a frequency 1 kilohertz, and I have wavelengths like this radiating from my mouse. Okay, what if I have, for example, la, this is A, or if you like, la. And what if I have low do, do and that is about and a high high C do that is about 500 512 and the wavelength is it's very big about 60 centimeter okay so now when you hear the sound now you can see the wavelengths, right? Now you can see the wavelengths. Boom, 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 boom. When you see the low frequency sound, then you will see very large wave. But if you sing a very high tone, you will see the small wavelengths. So, so now, because you are taking this course, now you can visualize the different, all different lengths of waves that are traveling around by just listening the frequency. That is our objective to study. How the frequency is related with the wavelengths. So now we are not just talking about oxalation in time, but oxalation in space. And we know the space and time is related. That is very exciting understanding. Okay?